Um, I'm Diana. Um, I'm a senior tech art supporting the environment team. Uh, my name is Christian Davis and I'm an environment artist here at High res Studios. My name is Ramon Garcia and I'm a concept artist slash environment artist. My name is Thomas Holt. I'm an art director here at High res uh, specifically focused on Smite for the environments. I got started through an internship at Electronic Arts um, that I got through, you know, my college. Um, so, and coming out of the internship, um, they gave me a job offer right there. So, I didn't have to go on a job search. Uh, I got my start um, about a month after school. I went to Ringling College and I was sending uh, emails everywhere and I actually got my first gig at uh, Vigil Games. Uh, working as like an entry contract position, so as an environment artist. I got my start at, uh, in 2001 at Midway Home Entertainment uh, out in San Diego. And they had several different uh, branches throughout the United States, also in, in Chicago, but I got my start there. Uh, I actually started as an intern uh, with EA uh, out in San Francisco. Uh, so I was going through their internship program um, and it was just something I found online. I was applying to a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of places and uh, uh, ended up kind of getting my foot in there and then kind of working my way up. I think the biggest thing that stands out to me is for people to be unique, um, to be an artist and not, you know, look at what other people are doing, but do something that really speaks to yourself. Do what you love to do first, be passionate. It's not just art for art's sake, we're making games. And so being passionate about games, understanding games, uh, knowing you know what the games are, working on mods, uh, and, and basically pretend you're in the industry before you actually get in the industry uh, is usually a pretty good way. Keep practicing your art, so um, whether, you know, if you had an internship or not, um, like when you're interviews and that kind of stuff, that's what people are going to be looking for, that you're up to date with technology um, and you know what's going on in the industry. Really, it's, it's just trying to, just practicing and, and just getting better and just actually that, that drive and that desire to, to get down as, as much as you can things that have diversity as well, um, those are the kind of things that they'd like to see. So uh, there's usually pretty complicated you know, issues that you have to solve when trying to create beautiful things in, an, in a game environment. Uh, so I look for people who can problem solve. I look for people who can you know, break down and analyze like why is this better than this? Why, why is this good? That can, can think quickly and, and be creative in their problem solving you know, toward the visual side. This is someone who actually feels passionate about doing artwork and because if someone's not doesn't doesn't feel it then you know your work suffers and their work suffers and nobody wins um, just that just putting your heart into it and, and the desire and showing that you know having that come across